Hey guys, I hope you're all doing really well. So today I wanted to do a makeup haul. I've been slowly running out of some of my favourite products and I also kind of just wanted to try out a few more new products from brands that I love. So this is my little box of new makeup that I have picked up and it always kind of sickens me how expensive makeup is and skincare. It just adds up so quickly and that's also why I'm always very cautious of the stuff that I share with you guys. If um, you're going to be making a big purchase, I don't want you to regret it. And also I think if you're a student, all of this stuff I'm showing you can actually get a student discount on, which obviously I can't anymore. So yeah, I will link everything I show down below if you are interested. So the first few bits I have are all from Bobbi Brown. I bought all of these through the website, which I don't usually do. I always generally go to like Selfridges online or Feel Unique. Um, I have some of the stuff from Feel Unique. So yeah, first place is Bobbi Brown and I have memories of absolutely loving a Bobbi Brown foundation years ago. And so I thought, you know what, I'm going to try it again because I remember it being like the perfect shade on me. So I actually picked up two foundations and the first one is the Bobbi Brown Skin Foundation and this one is in the shade Porcelain which is the lightest shade. <laughs> this will be a reoccurring theme in this haul. And this is what the bottle looks like and it's just the nicest foundation. It's got quite a watery consistency to it and it kind of just like gives your skin a nice glaze of just niceness and it doesn't look like it's sitting on top of your skin it kind of just looks like it's meant to be on your face <laughs> yeah i'm a big fan of the skin foundation it also has spf 15 in it which is always handy to have that little bit of extra spf the next one i picked up is the skin foundation stick and this one i remember my friend poppy she always used to go on about this so this one i feel like it's a bit more um, high coverage, but this one is in the shade Alabaster um, C004. It's the shade. And I'm hoping that this is going to be light enough. So this one seems like it's quite high coverage, um, but I'd probably use this like instead of a concealer on a day where I don't want to wear much makeup and I just want to sort of just draw all over my face and then blend it in really quickly. I love stick foundations like this. So I'm excited to give this one a go. I will probably be using it on my Makeup Mondays on Instagram if you want to see what it looks like on my skin. I then picked up the Instant Full Cover Concealer in the shade Porcelain. I'm hoping this is pale enough. I'm going to try it out on the back of my hand um, because it looks a little dark. I'll give it a go. It's not as pale as most of my other things but I don't know. It looks... This is... They're meant to be the same shade, they're both porcelain. The concealer just looks so much darker. But anyway, that's concealer. I'm going to see if it trumps the Hourglass concealer because that one is just... It's doing it for me. Okay, and then I have three blush products. I am completely obsessed with their creamy um, blushes and I bought one of the same ones I already have. Uh, they're called... Pot Rouge for lips and cheeks and they are just the best formula ever. They stay on your face all day. Um, I picked one up in Powder Pink which is the one I already have and have nearly finished. <laughs> and then the new colour I picked up was Fresh Watermelon which let me show you. I actually have Powder Pink on my cheeks today um, but this one is a little bit lighter and it's more as like a peachy pink so I'm excited to try this one out I feel like this will be really good for summer looks I am yet to put this on my lips actually I always forget that it's a lip and cheek product um, don't know why I just haven't tried it on my lips yet and then I just picked up one of their powder blushes this is in the shade tawny so this is what tawny looks like and their powder blushes last so so long I've had one for literally years and um, it's still going strong, I haven't hit the bottom at all. Um, so yeah, I'm very happy to have this. It looks like, kind of like a deep pinky shade, but I really like this sort of shade on my cheeks. I think it looks nice and natural. And then the final thing I picked up from Bobbi Brown is a brush. I hardly ever buy brushes because I am pretty happy with the ones I use. But I feel like I've seen so many people use this brush before that I was just like, you know what, 
I might give it a go. And I feel like it's the type of brush I will really like to use on the face. It's sort of like a buffing style brush. It's just so nice and quick to buff everything in. It's also such a nice little neat size for a brush. You don't have to have this huge long thing attached to it. So lots of new face products to be trying out from Bobbi Brown. I then have a few things that I picked up from Feel Unique. Um, a few things from Bare Minerals. The first one is Complexion Rescue Hydrating Foundation Stick. This product is definitely up there in one of my favourite, favourite ever foundations. I'm in the shade Opal and it looks like this. Just a nice neat packaging and you need like the tiniest bit just like scribbled all over your face and then you just blend it in and I think the reason why I love it is because it just doesn't feel like there's anything on your skin at all and I also love the brand as a whole like Bare Minerals don't use any nasties in their ingredients so you know that even if you like end up wearing your makeup for a long long time in the day that your skin isn't gonna feel completely gross afterwards I'm gonna recommend my top two favorites at the end I think um, but this is probably going to be in it. <laughs> I then picked up the Bare Minerals Bare Pro Full Coverage Concealer. It's meant to be 16 hour concealer. And I'm in the shade Fair Cool 01. And, and I have actually tried this out. I opened it up and tried it out because I was just so intrigued because I knew that I loved the foundation so much. Um, I wanted to try this out and it's very good. It's hard to compare to other concealers because it's not really like, it's not super creamy, it really is like a foundation stick formula in a concealer and it just feels super lightweight underneath your eyes and I just love it. I think I used it in my Makeup Monday recently um, so if you want to see it being used then it'll be on my Instagram somewhere. So if you're in the market for a good concealer, I would recommend this one. I haven't used it before, so I don't know how long it lasts, like product-wise. It's kind of expensive, but all of these concealers are pretty much like 16 to 20 pounds, which is a lot of money for a concealer, but you know, I think it's worth it. Just depends what you guys prefer to spend your money on. Some people don't like to spend their money on expensive makeup. I'm very lucky that I get sent a lot of my products to try out to start with, um, and then I often like buy the ones that I really, really love um, if I've run out of them. And then sometimes I just get that real urge to want to buy expensive makeup. And it's something quite, um, like, it doesn't feel the same as buying clothes. It just feels a bit more like, ooh, like luxurious, like you're actually buying something for yourself to make yourself feel better. And then the final thing I purchased from Feel Unique was the Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge and Travel Sponge Case. Now I just thought this was such a good idea that they've actually brought out a case now. I've always loved the Real Techniques sponge, um, so I knew I was gonna love that, and then the fact that it has a case I just think is so good. I, just, I do feel like the case could probably break quite easily in my makeup bag because things get squished let's be honest, um, but it's just nice to know that it's not like rubbing against loads of other products, it's got holes where the um, logo is so it can breathe, so yeah I just thought it was a really good idea and I'm excited to have a little home for my sponge. The other thing I love about shopping for makeup online are the free samples you get. Feel Unique came through with the best ones, I think. So I have a Skimono Beauty Mask, um, which is an after sun mask, which, let's face it, would probably be good for me. So I decided to try that out. And then this one really confused me because I was like, I didn't buy this. <laughs> it's like a full-size Bare Minerals product. Um, the Good Hydration Silky Face Primer. And I didn't really get on with um, primers very well, so we'll see how this goes. I mean, Bare Minerals face stuff is generally pretty good for me, so I should be okay with this one. And I'm gonna try it out because my skin is constantly dry at the moment, so a hydrating primer sounds quite good. So there we have it, those are all of the new makeup items I have picked up recently. I thought I would just share with you the two products that if you're going to buy any product from this haul, that I think you should buy. So the first one is the Bare Minerals Stick Foundation. I love this. Again, I'm in the shade Opal. If you're looking for a nice pale um, foundation shade, this one is great. And then the other product that I think is also really worth the investment is the Bobbi Brown 
Pot Rouge for lips and cheeks and I haven't tried the Fresh Melon shade yet but I know that Powder Pink is like the most gorgeous colour on your cheeks so yes, those are my top two I think from this haul. The Bare Minerals Concealer was a close runner-up. Really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments down below if you've tried any of these makeup products or if you have a favourite at the moment that you think I should try out. And yeah, always up for new suggestions. I hope you're having a great day and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!